The last 20 years has seen a dramatic change in mankind's attitude towards our planet. And as populations grow, the demand on land and resources increases, and the ecosystem, as well as mankind's way of life, are jeopardized. To date, dumping refuse in landfills has been the traditional method for disposing of waste. Yet, when the last quarry and the last open pit are full, what then? Recycling is considered a key factor in achieving the solution, returning materials back into the system so that they can be reutilized indefinitely. But what does recycling and general household waste processing look like in practice? Seem familiar? Many governments have implemented legislation where the segregation of waste must be undertaken at source. Even though legislation may carry the threat of fines, pressurized lifestyles and limited space affirm that segregation at source is an unpopular task and many people lump everything into one black refuse bag and accept the risk. A recent study in the UK showed that every extra curbside collection service costs taxpayers an extra $1.5 million a year, as well as posing a serious threat to the environment and inconvenience for the citizens. So what if a solution could be found that reduces the number of collections, reduces the carbon footprint, recycles more waste, is a self-sustaining operation, returns power to the national grid, earns significant income from sale of recycled waste, puts a community on course for a zero waste scenario, and significantly reduces or even cancels the cost to the taxpayer. And all this without any need to segregate the refuse. We're talking about sustainable development at its best, and JTP provides just such a solution. Residents are provided with a bag made of specially formulated non-toxic material into which they deposit their household and garden waste. The waste is collected and crushed in specially constructed trailers drawn by electric tugs. Once full, they are parked at community relay points. Then flatbed trucks convey the tugs to the transfer station in rotation. Juggernauts carry the waste, 27 tons or 4 tug loads at a time, to the JTP plant for processing. Lorry miles and carbon footprints are dramatically reduced by as much as 90% when compared to a segregated waste operation. At the end of the process, 98% of the waste has been recovered as very high quality recyclates, providing the primary material for new manufacturing industries and with no biodegradable waste having gone to landfill. OK, so what does JTP represent in terms of pure savings? Taking a western urban model, a town of 200,000 people uses around 40 diesel lorries to collect segregated waste. JTP uses 4 lorries and 10 electric tugs. A segregated waste operation requires 109 collection workers. JTP requires just 54. Employment opportunities in the newly created recycled waste processing and manufacturing sector absorbs the balance. With JTP, there's a 65% saving on waste and fleet maintenance miles travelled. With JTP, there's an 82% saving on fuel costs. There's another aspect to JTP that confirms its value in environmental protection, restoration and community development. The Joint Technology Protocol can be used to process the waste from landfill sites, creating development opportunities that are ideally suited for the establishment of eco-parks where recycling and manufacturing industries could thrive. From the point of view of effectiveness, economics and impact on the environment, JTP has no parallel. The Joint Technology Protocol is an integrated and holistic approach to waste management. It represents a significant step forward in resource recovery using advanced technologies to extract the maximum value from the waste feedstock. I can see a number of countries and cities throughout the world that would benefit from using this approach. Uh, at present we have four different bins and today another bag has landed at our doorstep and if we could have just one single bag where everything can go that would be excellent. 
Well, we used to have the one bag system before, and if JTB can bring back the simplicity of the one bag system with the benefits of recycling, then it will be better for everybody and the environment. Well, I'm no scientist, but if this thing can work, if it can be developed, it, it, it sounds really wonderful. JTP, the single bag waste processing solution that fulfills the United Nations objectives towards a sustainably developed society. With 98% recycling efficiency, zero biodegradable waste going to landfill and entirely self-sufficient in power. And every plant has the potential to create profit from the sales of recycled materials and energy, to the extent of being self-funding within a short time of startup. JTP ticks all the boxes. Segregated waste collection costs the earth. The Joint Technology Protocol actually saves the earth.